Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. Hey, it's it's time for some Q&A. I've been tagged by by a fellow 3D printer with the hashtag 3D printing on YouTube. There's a couple questions I'm gonna answer and then I'm gonna tag a few others. You ready? Let's do it. Go. Question one, what was the first thing I ever 3D printed? Well, that's easy. That was the example model that came with my FlashForge Creator Pro. It was a two color traffic cone and it came with white ABS and orange ABS and it printed them together and it looked really cool. And that was the very first thing I printed. Of course, after that, I printed nothing but poop. Apparently some people think I just print poop 24 hours a day. Uh, I, they may not be wrong. Question two, a popular 3D printer that I don't like. Um, I, can't, I can't really think of any that I don't like. So my experience in 3D printing that with the hardware is kind of limited. And so I don't, I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on that. Cause I, here I've, I've, I own a GMAX 1.5 XT. I own a Dremel 3D Idea Creator. I own a Flash Forge Creator Pro, and I have the parts for an eight-inch Wombot that I need to put together. Um, they all work great, and I don't think anybody hates those printers. You know, I do. I I did. I did get in on that pancake printer Kickstarter, so when that comes, maybe I'm gonna love that, and maybe others will hate it. But but until then, I don't. I don't think I can really answer that question. Question three, a popular 3D printer that everybody else seems to love but I hate. I'm gonna to have to reference my answer to question number two because again, my experience with the hardware is very limited. I have a Dremel Idea Creator, I've got a Flash Forge Creator Pro, I've got a GMAX 1.5 XT, and, and I've got an eight inch Wombot that still needs to be put together, and blah blah pancake printer blah blah. So I don't, I can't really answer that question either. There's nothing, there's, I don't think, I don't think I can answer that question, I'm sorry. Question four, what is a must have 3D printing gadget? Um, boy, that's a, that's a tough one. I, <laughs> it's gonna sound terrible, but my chisel, here it is, this is it, this is my chisel. This is the, the savior of my prints. So on any, any of the print beds, it's got a very, very thin flat surface. And instead of attacking with the angle, with the angle going like this, I turn it over and I hit the bottom of the model and then I use that as a, as a lever or a lever, whatever country you're in that says that. And I lever it or lever it up and then it peels up a little bit and then I'm able to slide, um, uh, what's it called? Um, a, a, one of those paint flatteners, uh, a mud tape thing. One of these. So I got, I got that and I lift it up and then I slide that under and I, and it pops off. So the reason I call this my must have 3D printing gadget is because I've used it on all of my printers and it's, it's been able to get under models that I would not have otherwise been able to get under and save. Question five, what is the best free or low cost 3D printing software? It's kind of a somewhat ambiguous question. I'm gonna guess that they're talking about a, uh, some sort of STL processing software that, that then slices it up and exports G-code or compiled G-code for the printers that take that. Um, well, <laughs> it was literally just a few weeks after I got my very first 3D printer just shy of a year ago that I purchased Simplify 3D and I've been using that ever since. And it's wonderful software. I, I would highly recommend if you have a 3D printer, you install Simplify 3D. I know it's expensive. It's, I think it's $150, but it was, it's been well worth it. Um, as far as free software or low cost software, I haven't had the chance to play with much, but there's two. Kura, obviously. I mean, if you have an Ultimaker, you're running Kura, I bet. Um, Kura's fantastic, and it's free. 
Uh, the other one is Slicer. Uh, slicer with an E. Or Slicer with a 3 instead of the E. That's good software as well. And they just they just released an update and it's it's free. It's good. It's free. It's free. It's good. I don't know. I use Simplify 3D. Question six. What is my best 3D printing tip? I've actually got two tips for you because they're equally as important. The first tip, level your print bed. And then level your print bed. And then make sure your print bed is level. Nothing will ruin a print faster than an uneven print bed. And nothing will frustrate you more than an uneven print bed. I promise. The second tip, use quality filament. No, I'm not saying you have to go and buy color fab for every single one of your prints, but find a filament that is, is rolled well and is, and is made in a quality way with quality ingredients in a quality environment. And then you will have the best opportunity of having a good print. Level your bed, good filament, the rest from there is gravy. Now it's my turn to nominate two more people to participate in the hashtag 3D printing on YouTube Q&A session. The first person is actually people and it's the guys over at the Hot End channel. I think, I think I'd like to hear what you guys have to say as far as answers for these questions. The second, uh, that's my buddy TechWiz. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Both my nominees are down in Australia. That's fantastic. I was just going to make a good aimate joke, but uh, I'm not going to. I'm not, I'm not going to. Good day, mate. Like this video if you like the content, if you like Q&A sessions, if you like being tagged on YouTube, if you, if you like the idea of what we did here. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I've got some really good giveaways coming up in the near future. I don't want you to miss out. Uh, thanks, you guys. This time, this time felt special. Thank you. And as always, high five.